Alright, so if you haven't watched my movement and attack in tutorial, and that's the first three episodes of the series, and this is the last episode. We'll be making stuff you can damage, but there has been a problem. I updated my project to 5.3, and I lost all of my data, so I had to remake the project. So it's just a different name, it might look a little different from yours, but everything else is the same. Alright, so this is our attacking system. As you can see, we can swing. And these line traces is where it does damage. We can disable the line trace by selecting this and adding two lines to comment it out. And we're going to create a new component that will give any actor a health system. To do this, go to tools, new C++ class, select actor component, which can be added to any actor. So any actor we have in our world can have health. And press next going to call it health component and we're going to create a new folder called components by typing it in here press create class and should add the code to the project and in here it'll give us this pop-up we can just press reload all and like usual we're going to get rid of the copyright status by just deleting it don't have to but it's what i prefer and we'll get all these errors, and that's because it's not in the right folder. We need to put our project name first. As you can see, inside games, our project name, source, it'll have our project name and our components folder, and then our health component. This just has our components folder. We need the project name. So we'll put your project name, which is since mine crashed, I called it tutorial 5.3. But just put the tutorial name here or whatever your project name is. And as you can see, this is a lot different than our player folder. We don't have any input, so we can't take input. But apart from that, it should be the same. Now we're going to close the editor. We have live coding. We can close that and close the editor. And we're going to press the compile button. Now that it is compiled, we're going to create a new folder. I'm gonna call it enemies. Now I don't have any enemy models or enemy AI, so I'm just gonna create a temporary enemy. So we're gonna create a blueprint class and it's gonna be an actor. Since we're not gonna have any AI attached to it, but if you want to add AI, you're gonna to want to make it a character or a pawn. So we're gonna type BP underscore and we're gonna make it a box. Like the last tutorial. We can open this up and dock it and I'm going to create a cube and drag it onto the same root to make the cube the root component if we press the add button we can search our health and it will come up now anything we put in here will function as long as the actor has a health component Another way to do this is we can just compile. If we drag in any actor, drag in a cube here, and in the details panel, we give ourselves more space. We can add a health component from here, and it'll do exactly the same thing as our box component. This just allows us to drag a drop and not have to do it repeatedly. So I'm going to delete all this. And we're going to get coding by adding some variables. Ignore these errors here, it's because we just created this class. The same goes for generated body, it's because we just created this class. We're going to protect it, variables. And number one, most important thing is health. And we're gonna create a boolean called B can take damage. If this is false, we're not going to apply any damage. We're also going to create some functions. Void take damage. And in here would be an int and damage. This should also be in public. So if we just had public here, so we can call it in our player class. And underneath protected, we're going to do void die. Alright, if we press control period, 
or control dot whatever you want to call it we can create these in here as long as we're using visual studio and that's all we need for now we don't need the tech component you can keep it in case you want to edit it but in this tutorial we can just delete it and we can set this to false or the default value is false so we can just delete it completely and it will still be false we can also delete it in the header file and that's all we need to do now we need to apply the damage so inside our player class in the last tutorial we are going to destroy any actor but now we want to get the health component and we want to call the tag damage function to do this up in the includes we need to type include and this we already know where this is this is in our project name so for me it's toyo u53 components and i call it health component dot h if you forget where this is just check the site here your project name your folder name and the health component dot h okay so here we apply damage to any actor going to delete that and inside our health component dot h it's you health component you can copy that we're going to paste it and we're going to get a reference to it so you have component asterisk we're going to call this enemy hit and we need to get the owner so we're going to get it's equal to get owner so for example the owner is the the box blueprint so get owner we're going to do a pointer i'm going to find component by class and it's our you health component that we're looking for so pretty much if the object we hit has the health component we're going to deal damage so if we're going to do is valid enemy hit so if it's a valid type you can also do enemy hit but it's not that recommended is valid is the safer option so now all we need to do is call the take damage function in our health component so we're going to enemy hit and we're going to do an arrow and we're going to call the function take damage and inside here it's looking for an integer called damage and in the last tutorial we created a variable called int damage so i'm just going to type in here damage we also want to declare how much damage we're going to do and i just realized i forgot to do u property edit anywhere so whatever number this is it will be taking that much damage inside the health component we're going to get the enemy health and we're going to do minus equal damage so this is pretty much subtracting it but we won't we don't want to do this if we're not allowed to take damage as you can see we have a can take damage rule we're going to do if you can take damage then we put this in there so if we can take damage we're going to take damage so we have a problem and that is press play and show our line trace you can see there's several lines that we have and every time the enemy gets hit by a line it will take damage so we can take like damage five different times and we don't want that so we're gonna create invincibility so we can't make the enemy take damage repeatedly to do this we're going to create another function to avoid allow take damage Gonna press control dot and enter. I'm gonna place this down here. And we're going to be can take damage equals false. 
and we're going to create this thing called a uh, delay. If you hear some winds, there's a storm right now, so I apologize for that. But we're going to create a delay, so we're going to do F timer handle, and we're going to call this invincibility delay. And once you've done that, we're going to do get world, we're going to do now get timer manager, we're going to do set timer. And this will be our invincibility delay. We're going to affect this object. And we're going to call this function. So we can copy paste that. Put an and sign and then paste it. And how long do we want this delay to be? Let's do 0.5 seconds. So 0.5f. And do you want this to loop? We don't want it to loop. We just want to call it once. So we're going to put false. Once we take damage, we're going to disable damage and give it an invincibility. And then after 0.5 seconds, we're going to call this function, which is the can take damage equals true, which will allow us to take damage again. If our health is zero, we want to call the die function. So underneath our delay, we're going to do the die function. So if our health is less than and equal to zero. So if our health is below zero, we're going to want to die. And the die function is just destroy. If you want to, you can call animations. Oh, we need to get owner and we want to destroy the owner, not the component. We're going to call destroy. And there we go. So if we want to run through all of this, we have a damage variable here. And if we hit something and if the object we hit has the health component, we're going to call the take damage function and in the take damage function, if we're allowed to take damage, it will subtract the health. It will give us invincibility for 0.5 seconds. And if the health is below zero, we will call the die function and it will get the owner of the component, which is the blueprint box or anything we give this component to, and it will destroy it. If you want to, you can add animations here, but since I don't have any, we don't need to do that. You haven't given the editor access to your variables. So inside here, we're going to want to do property edit anywhere. So we can close this as compile. And now if you go to your health component, you can see we have our health. We can set this to five, compile. And if we go into our player, and we search damage, we can see damage, and we can do one damage. So if we go into our box blueprint, and first player, you can see if we swing once, it won't do anything. But if we swing five times, it won't do anything. Oh, I put out, I commented out the wrong thing. I commented out the line trees. I was meant to comment out the deeper kinds. That's embarrassing, but Hey, it happens, so you make mistakes. Another thing we forgot to do is set can take damage true in the constructor. Okay, I find the other error. So not only was we not calling the line trees, we didn't get the person, the actor we were hitting. We need to hit actor, actor hit. Equals equals hit result dot actor get actor and instead of get owner we're going to actor hit and now if you close the add to and compile so now if you hit it five times it gets destroyed 
and it works. So pretty much what you have to do, we call the line trace and we get the actor we hit and if the actor has the health component, we're going to call it damage function and if the health is below zero, we're going to destroy it and we have invincibility so it isn't hit multiple times during one swing. That's all for this series. I will be doing more stuff for C++, but that's all you need to know to get started. This is the first tutorial series, so it might have been a little wonky. It'll be improving a lot, and I'll be making a lot more.